All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa lahat ng ating mga kaguro back there in the Philippines and wherever you may be all over the world. Now we welcome you all to another live stream. We are live tonight, live na live on a Friday night with our 20 item na general education. Okay, so the 20 item that you've answered through our quizzes link, if you are following us on Facebook, we have posted a quizzes link on our Facebook page. That's a 20 item general education. And of course, you would have been able to answer it through quizzes. Okay, and of course, this this same 20 items we are going to discuss tonight. So again, make sure that you follow us on Facebook. If this is your first time to watch us, if this is the first time that you've seen this, as shared by your friend, make sure that you follow us on Facebook so that you can be notified of all the updates that we have. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you're on Facebook, you still have so many videos on our YouTube channel that you need to watch, okay? We have, we have over 70 videos on our live stream uh, playlist alone. We also have a Gen Ed playlist. We also have a profit playlist. We are Study Link Review Online. We are Guru Pinoy, and we are your premier choice for review for your preparation for the lab. And of course, we are coming back to have this discussion with you tonight for your general education. Okay. But before that, make sure that you like this video if you're watching us on YouTube. And of course, do react to this video if you're watching us on Facebook. Share this video, start a watch party, tag all of your friends. Okay. Now, before we go any further, let us all start our night with our opening prayer. This steel has been prepared for us by Brother Efren Esteban. Manalangin tayo, mga kaguro. Our Father in Heaven, omniscient and omnipotent God, salamat sa covering mo sa amin sa nakaraang oras o araw ng aming buhay. Humihingi po kami na muli mo po kaming samahan, Panginoon, sa aming pag-aaral sa oras na ito. Lord, Ayon sa balita na aming napakinggan na na-reschedule na naman ang aming let exam, marahil marami sa amin ay umasa ngunit pinanghinaan sa ngayon. Naghanda ng lubusan pero hindi talaga nangyari yung inaasahan namin. Lord, alam namin na may dahilan ka kung bakit hindi nagagana pang isang bagay. Sigurado po na may dakila kang layunin para sa amin. Gusto namin iparating, Panginoon, na patuloy kaming nagtitiwala sa iyo. Kaya po, humihingi po kami ng lakas ng loob at kagalingan sa oras na ito. Opo, basbasan at patnubayan mo po kami lagi, Panginoon. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, ito po ang aming sama-samang dalangin. Amen. Amen. At amin sa ating mga kapatid na Muslim. No? So yun nga yung sinabi nga ni Brother Efren Esteban, eh, wala na naman, kanselado na naman yung let, no? na-cancel na naman tayong lahat, pinaasa na naman tayong lahat. But of course, uh, as mentioned by Brother Efren Esteban, merong at merong dahilan, no? meron at merong dahilan yung Panginoon kung bakit eh, na-cancel na naman yung ating upcoming let. So again, of course, we all feel frustrated. It's very frustrating, not only in our part, no? kahit sa amin, we we are also frustrated that he hindi na naman natuloy yung inyong let. Alam namin na lahat kayo ay um, umaasa na, na matutuloy na, especially dun sa mga uh, nag-file talaga ng March 2020 pa, no? So, sobrang, sobrang tagal na ng inyong paghihintay. But of course, um, we all know that there is a reason for that. You feel frustrated, we feel frustrated. Okay lang po yan na ma-frustrate tayo. And we all feel sad. Iiyak nyo po yan, no? The one way for you to to uh, let go of those emotions, no? The emotions of pain, of course, of frustration sadness is uh, for you to cry. So, iyak nyo po yan, it's okay. But of course, sabi nga eh, ika nga eh, we all have to move on. Okay? Sabi ng stoicism nyo, uh, change only the things that you can change, but those things that you cannot change, do not dwell on them. Okay? We all know that we cannot change the fact that the last, that the let is postponed again. Okay? Once more, the let is postponed. Okay? And we cannot change that fact. Hindi yan hawak ng ating mga kamay. And so, what we can do, of course, sabi ko nga yung frustration Nyo, ay ilat go nyo, iiyak nyo. But of course, after that, we all need to move on. Okay? Always look at the, the glass half full and not half, half empty, no? 
always look at the brighter side of things. That just means na mas mahaba pa yung ating time para mag, uh, mag-review. Yung iba, nag-stop na kaagad, no? Hindi na kaagad nanood ng videos, hindi na kaagad nag-review, no? Baka meron pa dyan na sinunog yung inyong review materials, so dahil sa frustration. So again, we should not stop from uh, preparing for our, for our let because of course, delayed siya, but of course, darating yung araw na magtitake kayo ng let, no? And uh, this is just one way for you to prepare. Again, just take a look at this. Look at this as a, um, a positive thing. Do not look at this as something that is very negative, that uh, this is a reason for you to give up your review, no? Uh, look at this as a uh, blessing in disguise. That is just another another way for you to really prepare for your let. You have still have more time to prepare for the upcoming let that will be in September, okay? Now, I know some of you have stopped working. Um, the, um, iba sang, uh, sa ating mga kaguro ay nag-send a message na I stopped working para makapag-focus sa review. Uh, hindi ako nagtrabaho dahil gusto ko mag-focus sa review. And then again, kinancel ng PRC yung, yung let, no? But then we have have to always remember that this is all for the common good no for this is utilitarianism that all for the common good all for your for your safety no because the government of course the prc feels that still is not safe for everyone to be in one room and to be taking the test okay so kalma lang muna yung lisensya ang importante po ay safe tayo ang importante po ay healthy tayo ang importante po ay buhay tayo and of course importante meron kang kadate sa 14 no sa mga may kadate diyan hello at sa sa mga uh, single naman, meron pa po kayong ilang araw, uh, meron pang 13 bukas po pwede pang humabol. But of course, pinapatawa ko lang kayo. And uh, as I was trying to tell you, no, this is just one way for us to really prepare for your let. And so, don't give up. Don't lose hope. Kapitan niyo po ang inyong pangarap. Tuloy lamang sa pag-let, uh, sa, pag, sa pag-re-review for the let, no? Kung kami ng gurong Pinoy ay hindi nag-let go at hindi, hindi uh, bumibitaw sa inyong pangarap, kayo pa kaya, okay? So, dire-diretso lamang po yung ating pag-re-review. Again, your let is coming. That is going to be in September. That's less than a year, okay? Hindi ganun kalayo. Napospone lang siya, pero hindi ganun kalayo. So, again, sa mga nawala ng trabaho, maaari yung sinasabi ni Lord, it's okay anak, bibigyan kita ng better opportunities. Okay? So, masakit, mawala na trabaho. Of course, we all know na napakahirap sa si Pilipinas ngayon, napakataas ang bilihin. But of course, the Lord is going to give you another chance. Uh, the Lord is going to give you a better opportunity. Okay? And of course, do not lose that hope. Don't lose that chance for for uh, the remaining time that you are given for the extended time that you are given make sure that you are um you are spending your time um to the best of your ability no mag mag review po uh, religiously review tutok lamang sa ating mga live streams and of course we all know that your live stream is very effective in your review okay so don't lose hope we are going to become lpts okay very very soon now there is a very important announcement that we have tonight and this is a bittersweet uh, announcement because tonight we am grow okay wala na pong grow starting tonight so we all say goodbye to guru pinoy review online work group our exclusive fb group for those of you who have been learning with us since this started no sa mga 250 lamang yung mga binayad hanggang sa naging 500 yung ating payment for grow hanggang sa naging 1000 yung payment natin for grow and of course ngayon iba na yung uh, naging payment ng mga previous students natin na kaka-add lang sa grow so again tonight we say goodbye to grow we are going to Miss you grow, Guru Pinay Review Online Work Group. This has been our baby. This has been our uh, excuse, exclusive FB group since we started with our regular live stream. Okay, so wala na pa tayong grow. Okay, so again, please bid your goodbye to grow now. Magbabay na po kayo sa grow ngayon. Okay, so magbabay na po kayo, especially sa ating mga veterano, okay, sa ating mga parokyano, no, sa mga matagal nang nandito, kakamisin grow, sabi ni Ma'am Tin dito. Goodbye grow, sabi ni Sir Ray Lobrigito. Okay, so again, wala na pong grow, aalisin na po natin yung grow because tonight we are going to start with our three new teams, okay? So the old grow, the old gen and profit group is now going to be called Team Gardener. You are all going to be called Team Gardener now. Ito yung mga well-rounded people na natin, yung mga na taga, matagal na nasa atin, no? yung mga uh, tumanda na sa amin, yung mga thunders dyan. Okay? So, uh, wala na pong grow. You are now going to be called Team Gardener. And of course, the new team members that we have, we are going to be adding you to Team Ericsson. 
Okay, so you are now going to be called Team Ericsson. We still we already have members for our Team Ericsson. You know, sa mga uh, ngayon lamang like enroll for our Gen Ed Prof Ed. No, that's for Team Ericsson. And of course, we still have the reserve na uh, Team Piaget. We are going to fill in Team Ericsson first before we move on to our Team Piaget. So yung Team Gardner natin steady lang po kayo jan. Of course, Team Ericsson starting tonight. You are already going to receive your live stream materials. Okay, so Team Gardner na and Team Ericsson both of you are all going to be receiving your live stream materials tonight okay so again that would be team gardner for our parokyano for our mga thunders no sa ating mga veterano sa ating mga old patrons no yung mga supporters natin ever since we started our live stream uh i i think it's in june last year okay so that's already going to be your team gardener that was our old grow okay so old grow that's going to be team gardener and of course you see all the materials that you have there in team gardener in the previous grow you can see all the files there all the media so again balik balikan punyan uh punyan ninyong lahat no lahat po ng materials natin nandyan lamang sa team gardener and of course, tonight, I will start uploading uh, materials for Team Ericsson. Those materials that have already been in Team Gardner, we are going to be transferring that, moving some of those, uh, the old materials to, of course, Team Ericsson. Para po patas yung laban, no? para maka, maka uh, habol din yung Team Ericsson, okay? Of course, we only have limited slots for Team Ericsson. The main the main objective why we are transferring some of you to Team Ericsson, we have formed these groups, is because we are trying to manage you uh, more effectively, no? Because it's very difficult to manage a really big per, uh, really big group, as you may have known in our pre-qualifying test, no? So, marami um, nagbi-message, maraming marami may problema, ganito, and so it is very difficult to manage uh, a very big group, and so we are going to be separating the new ones and there they are going to be known as Team Ericsson, okay? So that will be Team Ericsson. And of course, we still have Team Piaget. Once we have filled Team Ericsson, we are going to start filling in our Team Piaget, okay? So again, these are the three groups that we have now. Team Gardner, kawaii kawaii, Team Gardner. Okay, nasa yung mga Team Gardners ko? Team Thunders, okay? Team Thunders and Team Parokyano, Veterano. Team Gardner, where are you? And of course, we have Team Ericsson, yung bago nating team, no? yung ating mga babies ngayon, Team Ericsson, hahabol yan sila. And of course, they would also be doing very well in their um, licensure exam for teachers. And of course, Team PSA, this is our reserve group, okay? Once we have filled in our Team Ericsson, we are already going to start filling in our Team PSA. Now again, your enrollment for LET September 2021 is now open. So what are you waiting for? You you already have to enroll because the first 200 enrollees will receive 50% discount. Okay, again, that's 50% discount. That's only for the first 200. We already have less than 100 now, no? So kukonti na lamang po yung ating slots. So again, limited slots are available. And so make sure that you are already enrolled as soon as you can. You may pay through Palawan, Cebuana ML, PayPal. You can also pay through Gumroad. Metro Bank, and of course, you can also pay through Super Chat, Super Sticker whenever we have our live stream on YouTube. If you don't know any of the details on uh, how to send your money, just send us a message through our Facebook page, okay? So send us a message through our Facebook page so that you can be added to your Team Ericsson, okay? So again, new members are going to be added to Team Ericsson because Team Gardner is already saturated, no? Puno na po yung ating Team Gardner. Now, basic membership, this is for Team Ericsson, Jen at Profit, that's 1000 250 so if you enroll now and you are still within or you are still one of those 200 the first 200 enrollees that would only be 625 pesos okay so that's only 625 that's 50 percent off pro membership is major ship okay so again we still have your bio your english your your social science filipino mape and math okay so all those major ships you are going to be added to those major ships so uh, we have 12 sets for your major ships no? So patuloy lamang po yung ating major chips. And of course, we have a dozen sets for your major chips. That's 50 items for each set. And of course, you also have your discussion videos there. Now, if you still are part of the first 200 enrollees, of course, your major ship would only be 750, okay? So that's only 750 50 pesos, that's 
of 1.5. Now, for premium membership, that's Gen Ed Prof Ed. So that means that's Team Ericsson plus Majorship, that's 2.5, 2,500. But of course, if you enroll now, if you're still part of the first 200 enrollees, you'll only be paying 1,250. Okay, so again, that's 1,250. That's Team Ericsson, which is Gen Ed Prof Ed. And of course, you have your Majorship. Okay, so again, what are you waiting for? Maging Kaguru na po officially and join us in our teams, in our Majorships, in all the groups that we we have okay so again that is our um enrollment for let september 20 uh 2021 now um you can also become our supporter we we have just very few supporters at the moment no so pwede po kayo maging supporter i'm planning to meet my supporters very soon through zoom okay so all the supporters that we have we are going to uh, meet you very soon there is an option there you just go to our facebook page and of course you just you just click be, become a supporter and you can already be a supporter for grow uh, for, for not for grow for gurung pinoy okay so please become a supporter lalong lalo na sa mga nagbayad ng 250 no sa mga unang una 250 lang yung mga binayaran kawai kawai baka naman po pwede kayong maging supporter natin, okay? So again, supporters are going to receive freebies, are going to receive exclusive materials, are going to have meetings with me through Zoom exclusively, okay? Only for our supporters. Some posts are also only for our supporters, okay? So again, please become a supporter of Gurung Pinoy. If you think Gurung Pinoy is doing its best to help all of you, please be a supporter of Gurung Pinoy, okay? So again, that is another program that we've started on our Facebook. This is another feature on Facebook and please be a supporter of Guru Pinoy. All right, but then again, tonight's main goal is to discuss your uh, your 20 item in general education. Of course, this would all go straight to Guru Pinoy's Team Gardner and Team Ericsson right after this live stream. So abangan nyo po yan. If you're already in Team Gardner, if you're already in Team Ericsson, then uh, you don't need to copy anything. All these materials are going to be added in your bank of materials in Team Gardner, the old grow, and of course, our new team, that's Team Ericsson. Okay, so andan na kayo for our Gen Ed discussion. Okay, so again, make sure that you like this video. If you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and do like this video. If you are watching us on Facebook, then make sure that you've shared this video, started a watch party, tag your friends, because we are going to start with our general education discussion. Now, make sure again that you remember tomorrow night, we are going to have another 20 item. Okay, for general education still, this is general education. All these items have been taken from the pre-qualifying test. Okay, so pre-qualifying test po ito, yung mga items na kailangan i-discuss, kinuha ko po doon. I'm pretty sure a lot of our um, GROW members before, no, our GROWers, those who have taken the pre-qualifying test ay nakapag-100 in this general education because of course, uh, this has already been in your pre-qualifying test. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Joy Dairit. Si Ma'am Joy, kahit uh, wala pang supporter, no, consistent na may pakape. Okay, so thank you so much, Ma'am Joy. All right, now uh, we start with question number one. Okay, number one, speaker one, where were you last night? Speaker two, last night I am at Starbucks, SM Manila. The speaker who committed an error is, is it letter A, speaker one, letter B, speaker two, letter C, both of them, or letter D, neither? Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for number one? What is the answer for number one? Okay, maraming salamat sa ating mga top fan dito. Ma'am Aileen, Magno Cabrera Camajor, um, Ma'am Upti Vang Jason, or Sir Upti Vang Jason, Ma'am Cindy Kwong, uh, Sir Mark Luis Cerezo, maraming salamat po. Ma'am Shena Siena Igalan, maraming salamat of Team Erickson, sabi ni Ma'am Shena. Sir Kinechi Lorbes, maraming salamat. Ma'am Karsuma Kasim Asan, maraming salamat po. Assalamualaikum sa ating mga Muslim brothers and sisters. Ma'am Jean Marie Bohos Austria, maraming salamat. She's a supporter. Thank you so much po for supporting Burung Pinoy. Thank you, Ma'am Jean Marie. Uh -huh. Ma'am Mera Joy Milo Bautista, thank you. Our top fan, Ma'am Marquis Mayandok Tamundong, maraming salamat po. Mm -hmm. Sir Romel Royo, maraming salamat for sharing our video. Sir Arnel Busmion, top fan. Thank you so much for starting the watch party. Ma Mary Jean Martinez Jaime, maraming salamat po for being a top fan. And of course, si Ma Mary Jean, napaka-sipag mag-answer ng mga questions doon sa mga comments natin. No? Minsan, hindi namin ma-isa-isa. Maraming salamat, Ma Mary Jean. No? Nagiging secretary na si Ma Mary Jean. 
Thank you, Paul. Ma Mercy Zerudo Kiroy, thank you for sharing our video and for starting a watch party. Okay, now a lot of you are answering my letter B, my letter A. Okay, karamihan letter B. Ma'am Rowena Villaros Villarta, marami salamat for sharing our video. Okay, so karamihan sa inyo letter B. Dito din. Okay, letter B, letter B din. Ang karamihan sagot ng ating team YouTube. Okay, and of course the correct answer here would be letter B. That's speaker 2. Bakit mali yung, yung speaker 2? Sabi kasi dito ng speaker 1 mo, where were you last night? Saan ka last night? Okay, so correct grammar, correct spelling. Sabi, sabi, sabi naman ng, ng inyong speaker 2, last night I am at Starbucks at San Manila. Now, uh, the, the wrong part here, of course, would be the linking verb na am. Okay, it was last night, so it should be I was at Starbucks SM Manila. Okay, so it should be I, I was. And so speaker 2 is the correct answer for this question. Okay, speaker 2 po yung mali dito sa question na to. That's the, the answer, letter B. Now we go to number 2. I think one or two of the guests blank here now. Is it letter A, R, letter B, were, letter C, was, or letter D, is? What's the answer? Okay, what do you think is the correct answer? Ma'am Ruby Soliano, top fan. Thank you so much. She's watching from Infanta Quezon. Maraming salamat po. Ma'am Charlene Anladao, thank you. Ma'am Isa Grencio, maraming salamat. Ma'am Jeremy Vivelarde, maraming salamat po. Ma'am Lenny Hermoso, thank you. Our top fans, Ma'am uh, Sir Isaac Clyde J. Mix, top fan and started a watch party. Ma'am Jingjing Etnerol, maraming salamat po. No? <laughs> Sabi ni Ma'am Jingjing dito, it's okay na postpone nag-exam. Ang importante ay buhay. Ang importante daw buhay. Tama naman. Ma'am Dolorosa Santaan, top fan. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Okay, what's your answer for the question that we have here? Ma'am Rosani Kayapa, top fan. Ma'am Edna Bellestero, top fan. Thank you po. Okay, they're answering letter A. Ma'am Jessa Jane Faustino for starting a watch party. Maraming salamat. Okay, so karamihan sa inyo, your, your answer is letter A, no? Yung, yung answer dito sa ating team, Facebook ay letter A. Ma'am Shelbina, Shelbines, Shelbines, Lego, top fan, thank you so much po. Ma'am Lenny Hermoso, thank you. Okay, dito naman sa ating team uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Dito sa ating team YouTube, ganun din. Letter A then, yung kanilang sagot. And of course, that is the correct answer. Okay, so letter A, R, that's the correct answer. If you try to look at your sentence here, I think one or, okay, you have your conjunction or, pag meron pong or or, or nor, uh, the linking verb is going to follow the, the noun or the number that is nearest it. Okay, so kung ano po yung mas malapit sa yung linking verb, that would be followed by your linking verb no? in the number of persons that it should be looking into whenever you, you look at your sentence. So here, I think one or two of the guests, that's why our answer are, is, is R, okay? Hindi po tayo po pwede mag-answer ng word because it says now, ngayon, no? So that means it should be in the present tense. So letter A, R, that is the correct answer, okay? So letter A, R, ang tamang sagot. Wow, kawaii-kawaii sa mga two, zero. Number three, I want to find out which is better blank superman x-men and spider-man is it letter a between letter b from letter c among or letter d with what's the answer ma'am sheila gitalan thank you po top fan sir ronnie kilikon top fan thank you so much uh sir mark louis cerezo now i've already read sir louis maraming salamat po ma'am angel in donto ampos for sharing our video thank you so much ma'am axel rose posares for starting a watch party sir alvin jan domingo thank you ma'am jennifer mangunlay our top fan ma'am norsina may abalos Magain tanhalin top fan and started a watch party sir nino vincent rojo top fan Uh -huh. Paano po maging supporter? You go back po to our Facebook page later, right after this live stream. There's going to be a part there, no? Instead of follow or instead of like, meron pong part dyan na become a supporter. Okay? So, you can click that po. 
All right. Now, what do you think is the correct answer here? And dami sa inyo dito, letter C ang inyong sagot. Okay? So, Team YouTube is answering letter C. Uh, team Facebook is also answering letter C. And of course, letter C is the correct answer here. Okay? I want to find out which is better among Superman, X-Men, and Spider-Man. Okay? We choose letter C here because we are trying to compare more than two people. Okay? So, more than two of your, your heroes we are trying to compare them and so we cannot uh, we cannot really choose between because yung between is used only if you are comparing two people two things two objects okay so here letter c is the correct answer among is the best choice since we are comparing three people okay not from not with not between okay so letter c is the correct answer kawaii kawaii sama three zero Okay, number four, the school director suggests that the suspended student blank a written explanation. Is it letter A, makes, letter B, make, letter C, made, letter D, will make? What's the answer? Okay, ano kaya yung tamang sagot for this question here? Okay, what do you think is the correct answer? Marami yatang namali dito sa ating uh, pre-qualifying, no? Okay, is it letter A, makes, letter B, make, letter C, made, or letter D, will make? Dapat pag uh, English major, memorize na to. Alam na alam nyo na kung ano yung answer dito. Okay, letter B, karamihan letter B dito sa ating team YouTube. Okay, karamihan dito ay letter B ang sagot for team YouTube. Dito sa ating team Facebook, Okay, some of you are answering letter B, others letter D. May iba din namang iba ang sagot. Okay, karamihan dito sa ating team Facebook, letter D ang kanilang sagot. Okay, but the correct answer here of course would be letter B. Okay, letter B po ang ating tamang sagot dito. The school director suggests that the student, that, that the suspended student make a written explanation. Bakit naging make? Bakit naging, hindi naging makes, no? Which is, which should have been... um the construction or the, the sentence construction if you have singular kasi nga singular dito yung inyong student but what makes it make here is the term suggest okay because we have the phrase suggest that somebody do something sa so, makatuwid po dapat yung inyong verb ay base verb hindi siya does no i suggest that you do something you don't say i suggest that you does something okay so here it says the school director suggests that the suspended student make a written explanation. So even if your student is singular, you don't use your singular form of the verb that ends with an S, okay? So it should be just base form of the verb. And that is because of the term suggest here, okay? Suggest that someone do something. Suggest that someone, uh, ing, meron pang ing form ito, okay? So your, your correct answer there, of course, should be letter B. Letter B po ang tamang sagot dito, hindi po letter D ang ating tamang sagot. Hindi po will make. Again, if you have the term suggest, your phrase, the complete phrase would be suggest that somebody do something. Okay? So again, do would be the base form of the verb. You don't use the one with that, that ends with the S, your singular form of the verb. You don't use your past form, na made. You also don't use will. Okay? So of course, that is that can be acceptable if we're just talking. But grammatically speaking, no, if we are ve being very strict with grammar, then the correct answer would be, of course, letter B. Okay? So letter B po, base form of the verb, that is the correct answer. So number four, letter B, that's the correct choice. Now, number five, we blank adhere to the school's policy that no down payment, no enrollment. Is it letter A, strict, letter B, strictness, letter C, strictly, or letter D, strictest? What's the correct answer? Ma'am, question sa Balya Cablao. Uh, good evening po, ma'am. Magtatanong sana ako tungkol po sa major. At if yung new and old enrollees are joined as one group, yes po. Ma'am, pension, yung old and new po natin ay joined together or joined, no? Nag-join na po yung ating uh, new students and old students for your majorship because we have a total of 12 sets for your major. Okay, so right now, uh, tomorrow, we are already going to be at at set seven, no? set seven na po tayo for your 
uh, bio, math, English, and um, soft side. Okay, now your map and Filipino, nasa set 5 pa lamang po kayo, okay? But again, the total will be set, uh, would be 12 sets. And so, idadagdag po kayo doon sa ating major ship. Po, pwede nyo pong balikan lahat ng materials kasi nandun lang siya, okay? So, from set 1 until set 6, nandun na po siya sa inyong Google Classroom for your major ship. And of course, your discussion from set 1 until set 6, nandun din po. Okay, so balikan nyo lamang po. Okay, letter C. Yung sagot dito ng ating team YouTube. What about letter, uh, what about team Facebook? Team Facebook, okay. Karamihan din letter C ang kanilang sagot. Letter C din yung sagot dito ng ating team, um, team Facebook. And of course, letter C, that is the correct answer. Uh, Ma'am Ray X-Ray, our supporter. Maraming salamat po. New po ako. Paano po mag-enroll? Mag-send po kayo ng message uh, mamaya. Mamaya po, ma'am, after po ng live stream, mag-send po kayo ng message sa ating Facebook page. Alright, so again, here, the correct answer would be strictly, because of course, strictly here is our adverb, okay? Your adverb are usually those words that end with L-Y. Okay, so L-Y, like gracefully, loudly, slowly, okay? So these are your adverbs. And remember, your adverbs should always try to describe your verb, okay? So how do you adhere to the school's policy? What is the degree of your adherence to your school's policy? Very strict, okay? So very strict yung kanilang adherence. That means we strictly adhere to it. So again, this is an adverb. It can describe your verb, just like in our example here. It describes uh, the verb adhere. It can also also describe an adjective so yung mga terms yun na very uh, much uh, mga adverbs din po yan sila no adverbs of degree a little okay so a little very much these are also adverbs of degree gaano no gaano yan yung ating adverb and so uh, they can also describe your your adjective if you are thinking of your adverbs of degree like very little much uh, too okay those are adverbs of degree. Po, pwede din naman ng iyong adverb ay mag-describe ng another adverb. Okay? Another adverb. For example, you say, she walked very slowly. Okay? She walked very slowly. In your sentence, she walked very slowly. Your verb is walked. Your adverb na slowly is an adverb that describes the verb walked. And then, of course, your adverb of degree na very, it describes the, the, the other adverb, which is slowly. Okay? So, kung pwede siyang, your adverb can describe your verb, your adjective, and another adverb. Okay? So, here, letter C, strictly is the correct answer, not strict, not strictness. Uh, strict here is an adjective. Strictness is a noun, and of course, the letter D, strictness, this is a superlative form of adjective, okay? If you are comparing more than two people, then you can say, she is the strictest among my teachers, okay? So here, letter C, ang tamang sagot. Number six, which of the following statements accurately reflects a strong school culture? Is it letter A, has a network of communications? Letter B, has high standards of performance? Letter C, has the informal rule of behavior? Or letter D, has definite organizational core values. What's the answer? Digwak-wak, sabi ni Sir Noel Hazareno. Okay lang po. Hindi pa naman left, no? So po, pwede pang humabol. Mamalayha Agaw Uto. Maraming salamat po uh, for watching. She is in Cotabato, Poblacion 7. Okay, Poblacion 7. Thank you for the watch party. Okay, sabi dito ni Ma'am Jeremy Velarde. Ma'am Me, we pray po na sana may mag-apply na po para sa TLE Major. Sana nga po, no, pinag-pray din namin. Our ad is already put out for the job, no? Kung pwede na silang mag-apply for your TLE Major. And of course, for our AFA, no, sa Agriculture, our agriculture and Fishery Arts. So again, if you know someone, if you had... Uh, um, uh, tawag dito, if you had a teacher who was really good, who was well-versed, who was well-rounded and who you think can um, can make use of this technology that we we have now, po pwede silang maging lecturer for TLE or for AFA, please tell them so that they can apply. You, they just send an email to us, no? studylinkteachers page at gmail.com or they send a CV or so they send a sample video so that we can gauge whether they are apt to become your coaches. Of course, we cannot give you someone na puchu puchu, no? Hindi naman po pwede na hindi marunong ilagay namin, no? So, uh, we are choosing the best for you in all your majorships. You know, we are choosing the best for you. So, we cannot really just uh, put someone who we think is 
is alanganin. Okay? So, dapat eh, uh, hinog, no? At dapat eh, talagang marunong sa inyong area, marunong sa technology, and of course, uh, that person can really explain the choices that you have, can really rationalize very well kung bakit ganito yung answer, bakit hindi ganito. And so, uh, nahihirapan talaga tayo sa AFA at sa TLA, okay? So, kung meron po kayong pakilala, ipush nyo po sila, sabihin nyo po na makakatulong sila sa mga left takers natin. Okay, maging advocacy nila na makatulong sa ating mga left takers. All right, now here, of course, our question is, which of the following statements accurately reflects a strong school culture? The correct answer here, of course, would be letter D. When you have a strong school culture, that means your organizational core values are set, they are definite, they are fixed, they are very strong, okay? So yung core values nyo should be really strong. That means pinafollow ng lahat, no? Nasa programs nyo, embedded sa programs nyo. And of course, uh, it is reflected in the actions of your administrators, of your teachers, and of course, of the students. Okay, so letter D, that's the correct answer for number six dito. Now, number seven, patients suffering from the malfunction of the kidney are now assisted by a machine that serves as an artificial kidney called blank. Is it letter A, hemoscope, letter B, homeostatic machine, letter C, pacemaker, or letter D, hemodialyzer? What's the correct answer? Aba, may mga nagre-reto na dito. Ma'am Tin Acabo, may papakilala ako sa'yo, Ma'am Buen, si Sir Jir. Naghahanap kasi yan. Naging kupido. Uh -huh. Yes, napakadami nyo nga ma'am. Si ma'am Mercedita makapagal dito sa ating team YouTube. Napakadami po namin ma'am namin na TLE major. Yes po ma'am. But of course, it's very difficult for us to find again your TLE lecturer. We cannot uh, give you someone na hindi marunong no na... na you know, na imbis na makatulong sa inyo ay uh, makapagpagulo pa ng isip nyo, no? Masisi nyo pa yung guru Pinoy. Ano ba naman tong lecture mo, ma'am Mek, no? Hindi siya marunong, hindi siya na pre-prepare, uh, hindi niya siya marunong gumamit ng technology, for example. And of course, we are trying to to uh, find the best one for you, no? Yung ika nga eh, uh, nagkaharap kami ng pinakamagaling para sa inyo. Okay? So hopefully, eh, meron na. Meron na kayong mareto. Hindi lamang ka date sa 14 ha. Yung uh, hinahanap natin pwede yung ireto ay yung mga TLE na lecturer and of course AFA na lecturer. Okay, so again number 7 here. Number seven, patients suffering from the malfunction of the kidney are now assisted by a machine that serves as an artificial kidney called, the correct answer here, of course, would be letter D, hemodialyzer. Okay, this is the machine that is used in your dialysis, no? So dialysis. Yung hemoscope mo, of course, we know that in science, whenever you see the term hemo, this means blood, okay? So hemo, like hemoglobin, the, the red pigment of blood, okay? So this one is used in the study of your blood homeostatic machine mo i think i have uh, the illustrations here so this is your hemodialysis machine no this is a machine used whenever someone takes your dial dialysis no napakamahal magkano na ba yung dialysis ngayon no isang session ng dialysis is sobrang mahal of course this is done to change the blood of that person no para cleanse yung blood ng taong yan kasi yung kidney niya hindi na nagfa-function kidneys are not functioning anymore the kidneys are not filtrating the toxins anymore from the blood okay so if you can see those people who are undergoing dialysis their their skin becomes yellowish no dahil sa mga toxins nga sa ating katawan and so wag pong masyadong kumain ng salty food wag masyadong uminom ng soft drink no ang sarap naman kasi uminom ng coke no ng ng uh, soft drink no this is not a paid commercial okay so again this is your hemodialysis dia machine and this is your your answer for the question that's letter d this is your pacemaker so the pacemaker is placed in uh, near the heart no so and this one would uh, start sending electrical impulses no so parang artificial heartbeat siya that's your pacemaker now uh okay so that ends no so wala pala yung ibang ano natin yung homeostasis a uh, homeostatic machine mo naman when you say homeostasis kasi that is the internal state of balance within your body so if you are uh, if you have fever, you should take in medicine so that your your temperature would go back to the normal body temperature, which is 37 degrees uh, Celsius, okay? So that's your 
homeostatic machine. Ipapabalik niya sa sa normal yung inyong uh, inyong katawan, no? So normal body temperature or uh, this is precisely the reason yung yung uh, homeostasis mo. This is a reason why after exercising, no? Nag-exercise ka, nagpapawis ka, sobrang pawis mo, nawala yung tubig sa katawan mo na lumabas nga through your sweat glands um through through the form of sweat your body or you feel thirsty no kaya nauuhaw ka that is one way of your body telling you that you need to go back to your homeostasis we need to maintain that internal state of balance so you need to take in more water para ma-replenish yung mga tubig yung water molecules na nag-leave sa body mo when you were exercising okay so again when you say homeostasis that is the state of internal balance so when you say homeostatic machine one of our choices there ito yung machine that would eventually uh, help a person a sick person go back to its homeostasis okay so but then again the correct answer be letter d that's your hemodialyzer now we go to number eight what is the type of response exhibited by the roots of plants this is letter a negative phototropism letter b positive geotropism letter c positive sigmotropism or letter d negative thing uh geotropism what do you think is the correct answer for this question? Uh huh. Okay, I have a meeting at 8 o'clock with my principal. Okay, it's 7.10. So that means we have 15 minutes more. All right, so is this negative phototrop phototropism, letter B, positive geotropism, letter C, positive sigmotropism, or letter D, negative geotropism? What do you think is the correct answer? A lot of you are answering letter B on our team Facebook. Dito sa ating team YouTube, ganun din. Letter B din yung inyong sagot. And that is the correct answer, okay? Now, whenever you say tropisms, these are responses of plants to any type of stimulus, okay? So you term that as tropism. Now, you have several types of this, phototropism, geotropism, there's stigmotropism, hydrotropism. We'll go to the illustrations later. Now, ang pagkakaiba ng inyong positive at negative, when you say positive, that means that part of the body of your that part of your your plant is moving towards the stimulus okay so pumupunta siya towards the stimulus but when you say negative then that means that part of your plant is moving away from the stimulus okay so right here the correct answer would be positive geotropism of course geotropism because it is the response to to gravity it is the response to to ground not to soil sometimes this is called gravitropism because it's also termed as the response to gravity so that's geotropism or gravitropism because it is the response to gravity but then again it is positive because of course you know that your roots would grow towards gravity okay so positive geotropism ang ating tamang sagot hindi po negative geotropism now these are some other types of tropisms that we have this is phototropism no? so your your plants would always grow this is positive phototropism they'd always grow towards the source of light okay so if you put a plant in on on a window sill your plant would always be turning towards the source of light no kung ang sun ay ay nasa labas ng iyong bahay your plant would always be turning towards uh, towards that direction kaya ito din yung nangyayari sa inyong sunflower no yung sunflower mode also be changing the direction of the flower because of phototropism this also happens say you are in bohol no pag nakapunta kayo ng bohol and you pass through that artificial forest yung man made forest nila sa bohol no yung man made forest isa siyang uh, street isa siyang road na puno ng malalaking trees no you can see that all the trees are kind of bowing down nagbabow down yung yung trees not really they're not really bowing down but they're actually looking for a space through which they can catch some sunlight okay kaya nasa center lahat yung yung um yung ape, yung apex ng inyong trees no nandoon lahat sa center nagbi-meet sila sa center because they are trying to of course catch the sunlight this is still another way of phototropism okay so again this is positive phototropism now this here is positive geotropism that was our answer again the roots of the plants would grow towards the source of gravity okay so that's positive geotropism but then again your stems your branches your leaves that would be negative geotropism okay so negative po sila because they are not growing towards the ground okay they are they're growing upwards uh the opposite direction of your ground and so negative geotropism naman yung tawag sa kanila and of course for your sigmotropism uh, we had a common topic there or common question there in your in your let no you see that the vines of your your plants 
are twisted or are curling on the poles. And of course, that is because of thigmotropism. This is their, um, their response to touch. Okay, this is also, of course, exhibited by your Venus flytrap. So if there is an insect, there is a bug that gets into it, your uh, Venus flytrap is going to close. Okay, it's going to close in just that insect. This also, of course, manifested by your mimosa podica, your makahiya. Okay, so parang ikaw, no, pag sinusundot, nahihiya, nagpapakipot. Okay, so this is stigmotropism here. This is stigmotropism. All right, now we go to number nine. We always hear doctors warning us to limit salt intake. What is the effect of salt on, on cells? Is it letter A, salt punctures the cell? Letter B, salt makes cells well? Letter C, salt clogs the cell? Or letter D, salt dehydrates the cell? What's the correct answer? Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for this question? Uh-huh. Okay, yan, yan yung naisip nyo, no? sabi dito ni Sir Daryl John Viray. Nasa ilalim kasi yung root, kaya akala ko negative. Okay, so again, when you say positive, papunta po siya sa source ng, kanyang, sa, sa source ng stimulus, no? sa stimulus. Kung papunta siya sa direction ng stimulus, that will be positive. Okay, pag away siya sa stimulus, that will be negative. Okay, now a lot of you here answering letter D sa ating team, YouTube. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, si President Loreto na late, ah. busy yata sa work. Okay, dami late. May penalty daw yung late, sabi ni Ma'am Tin. Magbayad daw sa kanya yung mga late. Okay, dito sa ating team Facebook, ganun din. Ma'am Marife Sabadlab, maraming salamat for sharing our video. Okay, so letter D then ang inyong karamihang sagot dito sa ating team Facebook. And of course, that is the correct answer. Okay, so uh, we shouldn't be taking in a lot of salt because salt, again, can dehydrate your cell. Okay, let's take a look at the different types of solutions that you have. Remember, whenever you have your solution, you have your solvent and your solute. Okay, meron kang solvent, meron kang solute. Yung solute, yan po yung substance na tinutunaw mo, no? And your solvent, of course, yan yung substance na nang tutunaw. Okay, so that's why sometimes water is called the universal solvent. But of course, water is uh, water cannot really dissolve all types of substances because in chemistry, we have what we call like dissolves like. So yung tubig, ma-dissolve lamang yan yung, yung mga inorganic substances na katulad niya, no? yung mga um, um, inorganic substances po pwede niya ma-dissolve like glucose no? or, or some other types of substances. Glucose pala is organic. No? It has carbon. Now, say your, your um, solute is your paint. Your water cannot tunaw your, your, sol your, your paint. Hindi niya matutunaw yung paint. Hindi niya ma-erase ma yung inyong nail polish. Kailangan niyo ng acetone dahil ka pareho silang organic na substances. Okay? So in chemistry, again, like dissolves like. Inorganic would dissolve inorganic substances. Organic sol uh, solvents would also dissolve in, um, your organic substances or organic solutes. Okay? So again, you have your solute and your solvent. Now, yung hypertonic solution mo dito, in this case here, there is too much solute. No? Napakarami ng solute mo in this type of solution. That means napaka-concentrated, napaka-saturated ng inyong solution. For example, uh, you imagine your solution to be really full of salt. Okay, so that's your hypertonic solution. Super full ng salt ang inyong solution. Now, this is usually used whenever we are trying to buro yung mangga. No? Yung mangga, yung hindi ko alam kung yung tap. Hindi ko, kamyas, kamyas yata yung tawag sa inyo, no? Sa amin kasi iba, iba yung tawag na ilalagay mo sa, uh, binuburo mo, nilalagay mo sa solution na um, sobrang dami ng asin. So that's your hypertonic solution. Your isotonic solution naman, more or less, yung amount ng solute in your solution is the same as the amount of solutes in your cell. Okay, so iso here actually means balance. And of course, your hypotonic solution Konting-konti yung solute mo, sobrang dami ng inyong solvent. So that means malabnaw siya, malasyaw siya, no? Sobrang dami ng, ng tubig mo, konting-konti lamang yung solute mo. Uh, solute mo, kunwari, eh, nagtimpla ka ng juice, wala ng juice, no? Yung container mo, konting-konti na lamang. That's your hypotonic solution. Sobrang dami ng solvent mo in, the, in this type of solution. So again, when you put your cell in a hypertonic solution, what happens is that, of course, the movement of water would be from the cell going out. Okay, so from the cell going out, 
uh, that would be the movement of your water since there's very little water molecules in your solution. And so what happens is that your cell would shrink. Okay, so this precisely is the reason why letter D is our answer. Okay, the cell would shrink. In your isotonic solution, there is no net movement. Okay, so more or less, parehas lamang. Kasi parehas lamang yung amount of solute ng inyong cell at ang inyong solution. In your hypotonic solution, since sobrang dami ng tubig mo dyan, what happens is that the water molecules from your solution would get inside your cell. Okay, so your cell will swell and eventually your cell will burst. Okay, so tinatawag nating lysis, no? So eventually your cell will burst because of too much water inside. So again, if it is a hypertonic solution, tandaan nyo po to, lumalabas siya sa let. If it is a hypertonic solution, the cell would shrink. If it is a hypotonic solution, the cell will swell. Okay, so your correct answer there is that the cell will shrink. Letter D is the correct answer. All right, now we go to number 10. Meteorology is a very important branch in natural science without which we cannot be informed of forthcoming blank. Is it letter A, earthquake, letter B, meteor, letter C, comet, or letter D, typhoon? What's the answer? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for number 10? Okay, we're already halfway. What time is it? It's 7.20. Uh, iba sa iba. Oo, oh, oh, tama yan. Iba. Iba nga din. Oh, iba, ibutang sa inununan. Inununan ba yung tawag dyan, Sir James? Basta sa amin sinasabi lang yung iba, binuburo, no? Nakaburo siya. Iba yan. Kamyas. Kamyas yan sa, sa Tagalog, di ba? Tama ba? Mahina ako sa Filipino, mahina ako sa Tagalog. Okay, number 10. Meteorology is a very important part in natural science without which we cannot be informed of forthcoming what? When you say meteorologists, these are scientists that study what? Okay, the correct answer here, of course, should be letter D, typhoon. Tama yan, okay? So letter D, typhoon, that is the correct answer. Kawai-kawai sa ating mga top fans, Sir June Amisola, hello po. Okay, so letter D po ang ating tamang sagot dito. Ma'am Chari Tuyay, hello. Ma'am Charlene Kalinawan, hello po. Ma'am Loyalin, the people, hello po. Okay, so again... Uh, typhoon is the correct answer for the question that we have here, okay? So number 10, typhoon meteorologists would study typhoon. Number, oh, okay. So meron pa palang, eh, meron palang big reveal, no? Meron palang mahiwagang tambiolo na in-insert dito si Sir Migs, okay? So sabi dito, are you ready to get lucky? Okay, so are you ready to get lucky? Now this year, this is not cash, no? I believe this is not cash. This is... Um, a free enrollment, no? So free enrollment to sa ating team Ericsson. So we are going to be uh, giving free enrollment for 12 total kaguro, no? So labing dalawang kaguro ay magkakaroon ng libreng enrollment through our Magic Tambiolo tonight, okay? So right now, what I want you to do, to, to do, of course, is to like this video if you're watching us on YouTube and comment your names. Now, I repeat, this is only for our team Ericsson, no? Team Ericsson ay magkakaroon ng chance for free enrollment Okay, this is free enrollment. No? So again, 12 lucky winners are going to be freely enrolled no? to our Team Ericsson, the new new batch of our uh, growers. And of course, it's only for Team Ericsson, pero makakasali din po yung ating mga thunders. Okay, so what you can do again, pag kayo ay thunders, kayo ay member na ng Team Gardner, po pwede pa rin kayong sumali because you are going to be given a gift certificate na no? po pwede nyong i-transfer to another person. So po pwede nyong pagkakitaan. Okay, po pwede nyong ibenta actually. Okay? Ano, akala ko free Valentine's gift, sabi ni Sir Daryl dito. Alright, so what you need to do right now, if you're watching us on YouTube, is you like this video, like this video, if you're watching us on YouTube, and comment your names. Okay, if you're watching us on Facebook, again, go ahead and like this video, react to this video, start a watch party, share this with your friends, tag your friends, and comment your names. Again, yung mga nakaka-comment lamang ng names, ang mapapas mapapasali sa ating raffle, okay? So again, go ahead and comment your names. Isang beses lamang po, we are still checking, no? Chine-check po namin yan. Uh, kahit na ilang beses yung i-comment yung names nyo, isang beses pa rin po siya ilalagay sa ating tambiolo, okay? So, uh, we do check kung um, nandyan na yung name mo, hindi na po po pwedeng ulit-ulitin nyo pa, okay? So, isang comment na lamang po.
All right, so again, this is a chance for 12 lucky winners to become a member of Team Ericsson for free. If you are a veterano, if you are a parokyano, nasa team gardener ka na, po pwede mo pa rin po itong ibenta, no? So you can give this to one of the students, no? Po pwede mo pagkakitaan. Po pwede yung uh, uh, ibenta mo, tapos less the amount of the actual amount that we have for enrollment. Okay. Uh, President Loreto Agbayani, Balikaw Jr., hindi alam kung ano yung team gardener. Lost si sir, no? Uh -huh. All right, once again, go ahead and comment your names and we are going to end in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so that's it. Sarado na po ang ating tambiolo. We move on to the next slide that we have. Okay. And of course, the, the Magic 12 ng ating winners are going to be drawn tomorrow. Okay. So tomorrow na po, ilalive ko na lang, no? Since eh, ilalive ko na lang siguro Pinoy na page since nagahang yung ating device if we are doing your tambiolo online on the live stream. Okay, 11. The interaction between living organisms and non-living elements in the environment is called A or N, letter A species, letter B population, letter C community, letter D ecosystem. Again, we are looking here for the interaction between your living organisms, your biotic factors, and your non-living elements, no? like temperature, wind, your um, altitude, etc. No, living organisms, that's again, your biotic factors, and your non-living elements, your abiotic or abiotic factors. What is this called? Is it letter A, species? Letter B, population? Letter C, community? Or letter D, ecosystem? What's the answer? Okay, ano kaya yung tamang sagot? Okay, karamihan sa inyo, ang sagot nyo ay letter D. And the correct answer here, of course, would be letter D. That's the ecosystem. Ecosystem, of course, we know this to be the interaction between the biotic factors, the living organisms, and the abiotic factors in your ecosystem, the non-living elements in your ecosystem or in your environment. So the correct answer, of course, here would be ecosystem. Now, make sure that you still know, you still remember the different levels of organization that we have. Of course, you know that your atoms are the building blocks of matter. Matter is anything or everything around us no everything around us is matter anything that uh, that occupies space that means it has volume and has mass is matter okay so the building block of matter of course would be your atoms when your atoms get combined they can form a molecule and now out of these molecules here it is believed that the first form of your cell existed from these molecules okay then of course you have the cell the basic unit of structure and function in living organisms and of course you have if you have a group of cells working together to uh, form a group, uh, they have the same function, the same structure that would be called your tissue. Remember, you have four types of tissue, your muscular tissue, your epithelial tissue, connective tissue, and nervous tissue. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've already discussed this. I'm pretty sure I've already posted this on our live stream and also uh, not on our live stream, on YouTube, no? So, balikan nyo po yan. And I'm sure nandiyan na rin siya sa ating Facebook. Okay, so four types of tissue. Again, muscle, the muscle tissue, epithelial tissue, connective connective tissue, and of course, your nervous tissue. Now, if you have tissues forming groups and performing the same function, you'd call that the organ, okay? Now, again, remember, the largest internal organ in our body would be the, the liver, and the largest organ, okay, overall, total largest organ, or to, uh, the largest external organ would be the skin, okay? So that's the organ. If you have organs working together to perform one specific function, then you'd call that the organ system, several types of your organ system that we have, digestive system, nervous system, reproductive system, no, yung paborito nyo, reproductive system, yung um, circulatory system, excretory system, so many types of systems in our body. No? I think there's a total of 14 organ systems. Then, of course, all these organ systems are working together to keep an organism alive. Okay, so that's an organism. If you have a group of organisms belonging to the same species, then you'd call that a population. Okay, so lahat tayo ngayon na nakikinig ay isang population. Wala namang multo sa atin, wala namang ahas dito, no? wala namang pusa, wala namang daga sa atin, walang panike. Okay, so again, lahat ng mga nakikinig dito sa ating live stream, this is a population. Okay, that's a population. Now, your community naman, these are the different groups of populations together. So if you go to the zoo, you see a population of 
elephants, a population of birds, population of rabbits, population of snakes, for example, they're all in one place. So you'd call that a community, okay? So that's a combination of different populations. Now, of course, when you say ecosystem, this is the combination, this is the interaction of your organisms, the biotic factors with their uh, abiotic elements in their environment, okay? So sunlight, temperature, precipitation, etc. those are your abiotic factors in your environment. So their interaction is called the ecosystem. And of course, all this would compose biosphere, okay? The living component of the earth. Okay, so make sure that you know this. And of course, if you are on Team Gardner and also in Team Ericsson, this will be found in your teams later, okay? Right after this live stream. Okay, now again, the correct answer for that one, for that question was letter D, ecosystem. All right, now we go to number 12. Which of these does not belong to the other three terms? Solution, colloid, suspension, element. Is it letter A, element, letter B, suspension, letter C, colloid, or letter D, Solution. What's the correct answer? Uh-huh. Ano kaya yung tamang sagot for this question here? What do you think is the correct answer? Now, a lot of you are answering letter A. Dito sa ating team Facebook, ganun din. Many of you are answering letter A. Okay, so letter A. And of course, letter A here, that is the correct answer, okay? All the rest of the choices here are types of mixtures, okay? Types po sila na mixture, that means they are not pure substances. These are combinations of different types of substances na, no? That's your mixture. But your element here, this is a type of simple, your your pure substance, no? So pure substance yung inyong element. If you are looking at um, the classification of matter, kasi, no? If you have a mixture, as in your letter B, C, and D, these are a uh, combination of substances na yung mixture nyo. But when you say pure substance, this is only one type of substance. So when you say element, when you say element again, this is the basic form of a substance. It cannot be broken down into simpler substances anymore, no? Hence the term element. Yung compound mo naman, this is a combination of your elements in fixed proportions, okay? Now, remember in your mixture, you also have two types for this. Pupwedeng homogeneous. That means uh, isa lamang yung nakikita mong form, isa lamang yung nakikita mong appearance, isa lamang nakikita mo yung phase, no? For example, if you have your... your um, your your coke yung coke mo actually no yung soft drink mo it is a mixture of different substances meron kang sugar diyan meron kang uh, water of course you have your um you have other substances no meron ka ding gas diyan no but of course you cannot see all of them na distinct hindi mo mas separate yung all types of components that you find in your soft drink and so you'd call this a homogeneous substance heterogeneous naman you if you can see all the rest of the parts so Say, for example, your bat choy, your pizza, your salad. These are some types of heterogeneous na, na mixtures. Okay, so again, in that question, letter A po ang ating tamang sagot. Now, we go to number 13, math. At what rate of interest should 2,400 be invested so that it will earn 880 in eight months? Is it letter A, 65%, letter B, 55%, letter C, 56%, or letter D, 60%? What's the answer? What's your answer for number 13? Mm -hmm. Okay, now a lot of you on Team YouTube is answering letter B. Dito sa ating Team Facebook, ganun din. Many of you are answering letter B, so wag na natin patagalin pa. Of course, letter B, that is the correct answer. Okay, so 55% again. Uh, the question is, at what rate of interest should 2,400 be invested so that it will earn 880 in eight months? Now, remember, your formula for interest is P times R times T. Interest equals a principal. That's the original amount. Okay, so in this case here, that would be 2,400. Rate, that is the term that we are looking for here. No? So, yan yung hinahanap natin. That usually is the number that comes with your percentage sign. Of course, you have time here, and time should be in years. No, hindi po po pwedeng months. Ang inyong time, it should be in years. Okay, so again, interest equals 
principal times rate times time. And we have this as our math equation. So you have 880. That is the interest that we are shooting for. And our principal is 2,400. Multiply that by the R, which is a known, and by 8 over 12. Back at 8 over 12, because yung 8 mo dito is time in months. And we would like to convert that in years. And so what we do is we divide that by the total number of months in one year, which is 12. Okay, so 8 over 12. Now we are given 880 equals 2,400 times R times two thirds. Bakit naging two thirds? Of course, we wrote this in its simplest term, no? So eight and 12, their GCF would be four. So eight divided by four, that would be two. And 12 divided by four, that would be three, okay? So we are left with two thirds. You can simply multiply two, uh, 2,400 by two, no? So that's four, 4,800 divided by three. Okay, so that would be the next step that we have. So 880 equals 4,800 divided by 3 times R. R still is the unknown. Okay, so 4,800 divided by 3, we are left with 1,600 R. So again, yung 1,600 nyo dito, nang galing siya sa 4, 8 divided by 3. Okay, so 880 equals 1,600 R because we are still multiplying this by R. So again, now we are going to try to isolate R because that is what we are looking for. So that means we are going to divide both sides by one six. Okay, so dividing both sides by one six, we are left with 880 divided by one six equals R. And so the correct answer there would be 0 0.55. If you write this in your rate form, percentage nano, that would be 55%. You simply move the decimal point two times to the right. And of course, you add the percentage sign. Okay, so that's why 55% is the correct answer for this question. That's letter B, okay? Again, if you are on Team Gardeners, sa Team Gardener natin, mga parokyano, mga thunders, and of course, sa ating mga babies at Team Ericsson, this would all go straight to your teams right after this live stream. So you don't need to really... Uh, copy anything, okay? So again, if you are still not a member of any of our teams, what are you waiting for? Magpa-member na po kayo right after this live stream. Send a message through our Facebook page and ask us how we can help you pass the lab. Okay, now we go to number 14, Filipino. Napaka, uh, napaka dali, no? Napaka common na itong question na to. Ponema, ang tawag sa makabuluhang tunog ng wika. Ilan ang ponemang Filipino? Okay, so we have the choices. Letter A, 28. Letter B, 20. Letter C, 21. Or letter D, 31. What's the answer? Okay, what's the answer for question number 14? Welcome po sa mga kakachune in palamang, no? Welcome po. And of course, we are study link, Guru Pinoy, your premier choice of preparation for your licensure examination for teachers. Right after this live stream, if this is your first time to watch us, make sure that you send a message to our Facebook page. Just send a message. You can even just choose uh, the messages there that you can send us. Of course, there will be automatic replies, okay? If you'd want us to help you become an LPT soon in September after your September let, Make sure that you send us a message to our Facebook page after this live stream and become a member of our Team Gardener. Oh, not, not Team Gardener anymore because we're already full for Team Gardener. You can become a member of our Team Ericsson. Okay, so again, first 200 enrollees for Team Ericsson will still get 50% discount for our review. Okay, so 50% discount po for our Team Ericsson. Team Gardener is already over 800, uh, 800 people. No? So that's why we already decided to make another group because your group, Team Gardner, is already um, uh, saturated. No? Napakarami na. 800 plus na tayo sa ating Team Gardner. Alright, so again, what's the answer for this question here? A lot of you are answering letter C. And of course, that is the correct answer. Okay, so we have uh, 21 uh, dalamput isang ponema sa ating wikang Filipino. No? Sa ating wika, meron po tayo dalamput isang ponema, no? Uh, labing lima sa kanila would be, uh, or labing anim sa kanila ay katinig at labing, uh, or lima ay patinig, no? So, lima sa kanila patinig, your vowels, and of course, labing anim sa kanila are your katinig or your consonant, okay? So, letter C, 21, that's the correct answer. Okay, now number 15, kung anong bukang bibig siyang laman ng dibdib? Ito ay isang uri ng, is it letter A, tugmaan, letter B, tula, letter C, bugtong, or letter D, salawikain? What's the answer? Okay, Ma'am Arlene Bularon, sabi dito, ang swerte natin, daming discount ni Ma'am. 
Okay, so again, Ma'am Suhaira Di Makaling, paano po maging member? Right after this um, this live stream po, ay mag-send po kayo ng message through this Facebook page. Okay, so saan po kayo, kung saan po kayo nanonood ngayon ng live stream, mag-send lamang po kayo ng message. Okay, so again, um, you said there's so many, there's so many discussions, especially yung mga parukyan natin, yung unang-unang naging members ng ating grow pa dati, no, ay nagbayad lamang po sila ng 250 pesos. So hanggang ngayon ay member pa rin sila. Mag-iisang taon na, no, member pa rin po sila ng team gardener na ngayon. So again, uh, kapit lamang kayo, huwag niyong bitawan ang inyong pangarap, no, huwag niyong bitawan yung pag-asang magiging magiging matagumpay kayo malapit na po yan no so don't lose hope and of course don't lose focus no uh, uh, maaring na wala kayong focus ng motivation dahil na na postpone naman yung let but this is just a challenge to all of you no sabi ng Panginoon eh pinapahinog ko lang yung regalo ko para sa iyo anak okay so mag-focus lamang continuously review no if this is your first time to watch us we have over 70 videos in our live stream playlist on YouTube so balikan niyo po yan lahat uh, thousands of questions that we have rationalized no so balikan niyo po yan lahat again Okay, so what is the correct answer here? Is it letter A, tugmaan, letter B, tula, letter C, bugtong, letter D, salawikain? So again, as I mentioned, some of you just uh, paid 250 sa mga sobrang veterano, no? So sobrang parokyano natin. Unang-unang naging members ng GROW, 250 lamang po yung kanilang binayaran. So baka naman po pwede kayong maging supporter. Okay, so again, yung our supporters are going to be receiving exclusive materials and we are going to have our meetings through Zoom very, very soon. Okay, so, so to all our supporters, maghintay lamang po kayo. We will be setting our meetings through Zoom soon. Okay, so we can um, discuss all of your concerns. All right, now of course, the correct answer here would be letter D, that's salawikain. Okay, so kung anong bukang bibig, siyang laman ng dibdib. Sabi natin yung mga salawikain nga, pag sinabi mong salawikain, ito yung mga ating mga kasabihan, no? yung mga sinasabi nila sa bowel judgmental, may kasabihan, naniniwala sa kasabihan. No? So yung mga salawikain mo, ito yung mga may, makaka, may, may mapupulot kang aral. No? So sabi natin, salawikain, sala, kasalanan ng lolo at lola dahil galing ito sa mga pangarap ng inyong lolo at lola. Iba ito sa tinatawag nating sa wikain. Yung mga hugot lines nyo ay sa wikain na yan. Hindi siya sa lawikain. No? So sa lawikain again, these are your kasabihan. Ito yung mga, mga makakapulutan natin ng aral. Okay? So letter D, sa lawikain po, ang tamang sagot dito, saying no kasabihan. Alright, now we go to 16. Ang salitang apartment ay binubuo ng dalawang class 10. Tukuyin ang mga ito. Is it letter A, RT at TM? Letter B, TM at NT? Letter C, RT at NT? Or letter D, PR at TM? What's the answer? Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for this question? Paano po maging supporter, Ma'am Meg? That's coming from Ma'am Charlene Kalinawan. Again, for you to become a supporter right after this live stream, balikan niyo po yung ating Facebook page. There is a button there just very near your follow and like. Doon po sa pinaka-ibabaw, no? Kung saan nyo makikita yung follow and like buttons nyo, meron pong choice doon na become a supporter, okay? So you can become a supporter of... Um, Guru Pinoy, just like Ma'am Jeneline Abuel Alejandria, supporter na po siya ng Guru Pinoy. Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Jeneline, at magkita po tayo soon. All right, now what do you think is the correct answer? A lot of you are answering letter C. Okay, and of course, that is the correct answer to this question here. Salitang apartment ay binubuo ng dalawang cluster. When you say cluster, kasi ito yung dalawang magkakasunod na katinig, no? your consonants, two consonants that are neighboring magkakasunod na katinig, that to be your cluster. So here, in your term or in your word apartment, you have RT and NT. Okay, so therefore, the correct answer is letter C, RT at NT in question number 16. So 16 letter C, that's the correct answer. Now we go to number 17, mag-aalas 5 na patlang umaga, patlang magising siya. Is it letter A, nang, N-A-N-G, hyphen, N-G, letter B, N-A-N-G, N A N G letter C N G N A N G or letter D N G N G. Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for this question that we have? This is still Filipino. Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for question number seventeen? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, a lot of you are answering letter C dito sa ating team Facebook. Dito sa ating team YouTube, letter C din. Medyo napapansin nyo, medyo mabilis tayo ngayon because I have a meeting at 8 o'clock na, 9 o'clock naman sa inyo dyan, no? 9, 9 p.m. naman sa inyo. Meron po ako meeting, uh, staff meeting, faculty meeting. Okay, so, um, okay, we should be done before 8 o'clock. All right, now, a lot of you are answering letter C and of course, that is the correct answer. Okay, so mag-aalas 5 na ng umaga. You're now here na NG. This is always followed by a direct object. Okay, so uh, merong, um, yung kasunod niya lagi ay yung bagay, no? Isang direct object, no? So, bagay niya. Hindi bagay as in, as in thing, ha? But this is bagay in the sense that it is a direct object. And yung nang yun naman, this is followed by your verb, no? So, yung N-A-N-G mo na nang, na nang, it would function as an adverb. Gaano siya gumising, no? Nang magising siya, no? Okay? So, here, in the slide that we have here, sumigaw ng malakas at sumigaw ng malakas, they actually have different meanings, no? So, different po yung kanilang meanings. Again, yung N-A-N-G mo dito, I, uh, this would be followed by an adverb. So, followed siya ng adverb. Gaano siya sumigaw? Papaano siya sumigaw? Malakas ang kanyang pagkakasigaw, okay? So, sumigaw, sumigaw ng malakas. Sumigaw siya. Dapat pala may siya dito, no? Sumigaw siya ng malakas. And so, that should be... Uh, followed by your your uh, adverb, no? Ga paano siya sumigaw? Gaano siya sumigaw? That should be malakas ang kanyang pagkakasigaw. Dito naman, sumigaw siya ng malakas. Yung ibig sabihin nito, ang sinigaw niya mismo ay malakas! Baka siya naman si maganda, no? Inahanap niya si malakas. And so, there really is a big difference between your NG and before your NANG, no? So, magkaiba po sila. Again, your NG here would be followed by the direct object, okay? And your NANG would be followed by your adverb. Okay, so sumigaw ng malakas, gaano siya sumigaw? Malakas ang kanyang pagkakasigaw? Sumigaw siya ng malakas? Ano ang kanyang sinigaw? Ang sinigaw niya ay malakas. Okay, so that's your differences between N-A-N-G and N-G. Okay, which of the following best reads, restates the meaning of the child is the father of the man? Is it letter A, children are naturally wiser than adults? Letter B, if there would be no children, there would be no fathers. Letter C, the experiences and lessons of childhood influence one's adult life. Letter D, fathers are dependent on the sight of their children. What's the correct answer? Okay, what is the correct answer for the question that we have here? Bagani? Ano itong bagani? Okay, now again, um, Sir SRC, Popoy Lucero, salamat po. Ah, bangan ko po next session niyo po, ma'am. Tomorrow po, eh, meron po tayong live stream. So again, tomorrow we have a live stream. It's still going to be 20 item gen ed. And of course, by 7 a.m., po, pwede nyo po kayo mag-answer ng ating quizzes, no? Yung quizzes po natin, which is the same items that we are discussing now, nakapost po siya sa ating Facebook page by 7 a.m., okay? So make sure that you follow this Facebook page, no? If you can become a supporter of this Facebook page, then we are going to greatly appreciate it. Of course, that is a big help to Guru Pinoy. So again, your, your quizzes are going to be posted here by 7 a.m. tomorrow. Then, of course, by 7.30 p.m. Philippine time, we are going to have our live stream again for Gen Ed. Okay? Nuna po natin yung Gen Ed. This actually came from your, um, your uh, tawag dito, pre-qualifying test ng ating mga growers, no? yung ating team gardener. Doon po yan ng galing sa kanya, pre-qualifying test. Because, of course, if you are a member of team gardener or team Ericsson, you are allowed to take our major tests. Okay, so, and then next week, Paul, we are going to tackle your prof ed. Okay, so unahin po natin yung gen ed. And so this is also the reason why hindi ko pa pinopost yung inyong prof ed na questionnaires for your pre-qualifying test and also your, your answer key, no, for prof ed. Because unahin po muna natin yung gen ed. And of course, the following uh, week, eh, maging, uh, ipopost na natin yung ating prof ed. Okay, for number 18 here, which of the following best restates the meaning of the child is the father of the man? Of course, the correct answer is letter C, the experiences and lessons of childhood influence one's adult life. So as we have been 
always mentioning no, as we have been uh, reiterating it's very important your role as a as a parent your role as a teacher especially if be at ka, no, elementary school teacher preschool teacher napaka importante sa paghubog ng personality sa paghubog ng ng um ng kabuuan no ng, ng wholeness of the person of that child so dapat eh maging model ka talaga no maging modelo ka and teach them that they have to be realistic in life life is not going to be all roses no not all peaches and roses life is going to have hardships so give them uh the chance to become aware to become realistic no and of course just prepare them for anything that would happen to them prepare them that they can accept whatever misfortunes they'll have and of course they'll have um the humility to move on no to the, the humility to accept it and to of course move on okay so number 18 letter c po ang ating tamang sagot dito no, number 19 which passage is expressed uh, effectively effectively po sana ito no i'm sorry that should be effectively and without structural errors is it letter a having called the other students and they the sec the secretary went home letter b having called the other students and we the secretary went home letter c having called the other students and us the secretary went home having called the other students and ourselves the secretary went home Okay, what do you think is the correct answer for this question that we have here? Uh -huh. Bukas po ba malalaman ang results sa wheel para ma-free po kami sa enrollment? That's coming from Ma'am Angel in Donto, Amparo. Yes po. Bukas po iikot ang inyong kapalaran. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Flor Angeli Barrera Javier. Good eve po. Napakalaking tulong po ng mga natututunan ko dito. Thank you po. Uh huh. All right. Now a lot of you are answering letter C for this question. Uh, at dito din sa ating uh, team YouTube, karamihan ang sagot ay letter C. And of course, letter C here that is the correct answer. Okay, because we use they and we as subjects. Okay, so subjects po yung gamit ng they and we mo dito. In your sentence, it says having called. Okay, you have the verb called. And so we are looking for the objective form, no? Objective form of the term we or they. And so that is the term us. Okay, so us would be the correct answer here, no? Hindi then ourselves. Because of course, our, if you are talking about ourselves, that would be your, your first degree, ver, first degree of talking. Okay, so having called the other students and us, the secretary went home. So again, they and we are used as uh, the subjects of the of the sentence. So in this case here, you cannot choose they and we because you are actually objects here because of the verb called, no? Naging uh, object kayo ng verb na, na called. And so us is the correct answer here. This is letter C. Okay, now here, I have some exercises here. Let's just do it fast. The president is he or the president is him? Which one do you think is the correct answer? One or two? Comment your answer. One or two? Ma'am Malayha Agaw Uto. Hello po. Watching from Cotabato. Hi po, Ma'am uh, Malayha. Assalamualaikum. Okay, what do you think is the correct answer? One or two? The president is he or the president is him? One or two? Okay, some of you, most of you are answering one sa ating team YouTube. Sa ating team Facebook, ganun din. The answer is one and one here is the correct answer. The president is he. Because you can actually um, uh, rewrite your sentence as he is the president. Okay, so subject, predicate siya, no? subject uh, nominative, subject nominative siya. So that should be the president is he or he is the president. He here is the correct answer. What about in our second pair? I invited he or I invited him? One or two? One or two? I invited he or I invited him? What do you think is the correct answer? Mamalayha agaw uto. Paano po sumali sa quiz? Again, as I've mentioned po, your quiz is going to be posted on this Facebook page. So make sure that you are following the Facebook page so that you can be informed, okay, whenever we post anything. I invited here, or I invited him. The correct answer is I invited him because here, of course, we are looking for the object of the verb invited, okay? So here, him is the correct answer. What about the third pair? Let's you and me or let's you and I? Okay, let's you and me or let's you and I. What do you think is the better choice? 
Uh -huh. What's the better choice for the third pair that we have? Is it one or two? One lets you and me or two lets you and I. Uh -huh. Many of you are answering number two. Dito sa ating team YouTube, hate no, my one, my two. Okay, of course, the correct answer here would be sentence two. Sentence two, let's you and I, let's you and I. It, kaya nga nasa song ito, no? Let's you and I. So, let's you and I po yung tamang sagot dito, okay? Hindi po let's you and me, let us, you and I. Okay, so um, I po yung tamang sagot dito for this third pair that we have. What about the last pair that we have? It was easy for Anna and I or it was easy for Anna and me? Is it one or two? That's the last pair na po tayo. Last pair. It was easy for Anna and I or it was easy for Anna and me? What do you think is the correct answer? Okay, a lot of you are answering uh, number two. Okay. Number two, dito sa ating team Facebook, may mga one, may mga two. We are already at the last pair. Last pair na po tayo. It was easy for Anna and correct answer is me. Okay, so tama po yan, Sir Nemuel. Mag-send na po kayo ng inyong data, Sir Nemuel. Okay, so that your your prize would be sent to you. No? Sa mga uh, hindi pa pala nakakatanggap yung ating raffle tickets, yung previous natin na raffle tickets, and of course, sa ating top 20, no? mag-send na po kayo ng inyong info. Yung iba po sa inyo, wala pang information. Of course, we cannot send uh, the prizes if you don't send your, your information. I think Sir Mix is waiting for the rest of the information. So mag-send na po kayo. It was easy for Anna and me because, of course, we are looking for the object of the preposition for. Okay, so object ng preposition. Basta may preposition po, dapat ay objective form yung inyong gamitin, hindi I. Okay, so it was easy for Anna and me. Alright, so again, um, these are all going to be found on Team Ericsson. Sa Team, er sa team Ericsson natin, yung ating bagong babies. And of course, ating Team Gardner, yung ating mga parokyano, mga ating mga uh, veterano. No? Uh, this will all be found in your, your classroom later. Uh, your Facebook page pala later, you know, your Facebook group na Team Ericsson and Team Gardner, so you don't need to really worry. And of course, I'm going to save these markings here para alam nyo kung ano yung tamang sagot. All right, now last question, 7.55 na. Okay, which sentence clearly and effectively states the idea and has no structural errors? Is it letter A, the interest at a loan company is higher than at a bank? Letter B, the interest at a loan company is higher than a bank. Letter C, the interest of a loan company is higher than a bank. Or letter D, the interest of a loan company is higher than in a bank. What's the answer? Okay, a lot of you are answering. Again, for those of you who are still, ans uh, still asking how to enroll, uh, just go back to our Facebook page and, of course, send a message to our Facebook page so that you, you will have the information on how you can enroll. And of course, for this item here, the correct answer is letter A. Remember in your sentence structure, no? in your sentence construction in your English, there should be parallelism. Dapat e parallel ka. Interest at a loan, uh, at a loan company higher than at a bank. Okay, so yan po dapat yung letter B mo kasi, yung interest at yung banko, yung kanyang um, kinompare, no? I will not go into the details of the rest of the choices, but the correct choice here is letter A, at and at. Okay, so again, remember, there should be parallelism. All right, now um, that ends tonight's live stream. I'm uh, really sorry, I need to... Uh, be in a hurry because I have a meeting, no? I have a faculty meeting at 8 o'clock and we only have four minutes left, okay? And so we end tonight's session with our closing prayer. Again, tomorrow night, we are going to have our live stream at 7.30. Your um, quizzes is going to be posted by 7 a.m. on our Facebook page. All right, samahan niyo po ako sa ating pangwakas na panalangin. Muli po tayong manalangin, mga kaguro. Panginoon naming Diyos, salamat po sa inyong pag-iingat sa amin na natapos po ang aming uh, pag-aaral sa oras po na ito. Sa amin pong pansamantalang pag-ihiwalay, sana po ay pagkalog mo sa amin ang mabuti naming kalsugan, ang kagalingan, ang talino po na nanggagaling po sa inyo. Bigyan mo din po kami ng pasensya, Panginoon, na maghintay. Alam mo namin, O oh Lord, na merong mga kadahilanan bakit uh, na-cancel ang exam mo namin, Panginoon. At tulungan mo po kami na mas lalong makapaghanda para po sa isang pagsusulit po, Panginoon. 
Pagpalain mo po ang family ni Ma'am Mek, ni Sir Ram. Pagpalain mo po ang Gurong Pinoy. Pagpalain mo po ang bawat nandito, member po sa uh, Revis Center po na ito, Panginoon. Huwag mo po kaming pababayaan, Panginoon. At sana po ay pagpalain mo po kami lalo upang sa ganun, eh, maabot namin ang mga pangarap namin, Panginoon, mga mitihin mo namin. Salamat po sa lahat at sana po ay dala namin ang kapayapaan, ang pag-ibig sa aming mga puso, Panginoon. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, ito po ang aming sama-samang dalangin. Amen. Amen at amen. Maraming salamat, Brother Efren, for always preparing our opening closing prayers whenever we have our live streams. So again, for your questions, queries, if you want to follow our Facebook page, go ahead and follow our Facebook page. If you can become a supporter, of course, we'd appreciate it if we become a supporter of uh, Guru Pinoy. This has been Coach Mech of Guru Pinoy. Magkita-kita po tayo muli buka, 7.30 p.m., of course, 7 a.m. You can already start answering your quizzes. Sa muli, ito po si Coach Mech, and I'll leave you the saying, maliit man, nabutil na mga ka Alaman, ang dulo nito ay malaking kaginawaan. Maraming salamat po and good night Philippines. Bye!